What causes disc herniations? Well, that's a great question. I'm Sebastian at Performance Place here to help you out through this, and I'm going to use this model. It's a movement-based model, so you guys might like that. Now, what causes disc herniations? There's a couple different things that can create it. One is an acute, like, single incident injury, such as you were trying to save children from a, uh, from a truck, and you picked up the truck, and then your back just went right? And you felt the pop and then you went down. So that is a situation where there's a single incident and that's where the, the load that you were experiencing and around, maybe rounding your back through the movement was excessive to what the body can tolerate. Now the movement which typically aggravates a disc is a forward bend such as rounding the spine or sitting or um, poor lifting mechanics and so on as well as some rotation. We had a patient before that came in that they said that they were bending forward with a sandbag in a workout and then shaking the sand to get it to the center. That is a very uh, classic disc presentation type of model. Now, I mentioned the acute thing which can create a disc herniation. By the way, if we go into this model here, I'll show you a disc protrusion. Um, just know that not all herniations are created equal. Notice how I bend forward and this thing starts to kind of push its way out the back. That jelly starts to protrude itself. So protrusion is, is one thing, but it's easiest to demonstrate a protrusion. Most people have herniations, which they can recover from very quickly. These are a little bit more challenging. Now, what causes a herniation when you're just not really doing anything, or you woke up with it, or you didn't do anything to create it? Well, there's the thought that there's a repetitive cycle of overload too. So we mentioned that there's the acute incident, which is bending forward a single time, and it's like gone, right? And then there's the one where it's just working itself out, okay? Repetitive, cyclical, poor bending mechanics or staying in a certain rounded position for too long throughout the day for too many years, such as poor sitting mechanics, all right? Now, it's been common thought to, to make sitting and rounding the devil. Um, it's not a bad thing, just doing too much of it too, too often is a problem. And as we see down the front of this model here, I'll get close really slow so the camera doesn't blur. There's that jelly substance in the middle and there's a white, uh, wider uh, outer perimeter there. That's called the, uh, the annular rings. And so that jelly starts to kind of move into the rings. When it gets into the rings via lots of these, even sitting with low load or just um, poor bending mechanics with doing daily chores such as straw that broke the camel's back type of stuff, it starts to work its way into the back ring material. And basically what happens is, I like to call it, it's, it's kind of like the rings or yarn and they're just getting soggy. So I hope that was helpful. I'm Sebastian from Performance Place in Huntington Beach. We're always looking to help you out and help you decrease how long you suffer from a disc herniation. We've met people who have had disc herniation pain for years. Sadly, they've had it for years. And so there's no need for that. And so we're in Huntington Beach. If you're in Orange County, just call. We do free insurance verification. Um, and we'll do the best we can to help you get to the care that you need. And so we don't, belong, we don't believe in long treatment plans. We just do what is needed on that day to help you get to where you need to go. Looking forward to seeing you.